What's going on everybody? My name is Northy and today I've got myself box break number two. This box has shown itself a lot of times on the channel. This box has happened uh, a fair few times. Uh, now counting 13 boxes opened on this channel so far with the original box break that I uploaded I believe on the day or the day after the original release of Footy Stars. And of course the massive case break that we did where we pulled a whole bunch of amazing cards but Footy Stars 2023 is not done yet. We have got, we're up to box number 14. 14 of Footy Stars, which is just uh, not good for the bank account at the very least. <laughs> Footy Stars 2023 box break number two this is. I can never just settle for one box break on the channel. If you know me, I can't settle for one. I've got to do at least two. And then obviously, depending on how good they are, three, but usually it sticks at two because two, I feel like, gets us the best look at what uh, a box can look like. But uh, it's fair to say we are doing a lot more than two this time around, 40 stars 2023. This is number 14, as I've mentioned. Let's get straight into it. Let's not start dilly dallying around. It's gonna be good fun, don't get me wrong. We're gonna have a lot of fun here today, but at the same time, I also wanna make this very, very clear. Do not go around purchasing boxes or packs unless you feel like you have the money to do so. I did, I felt confident doing so, and uh, here we are opening up box number 14. So be sure that uh, you guys are still doing it safe. I will always recommend getting the cards that you're looking for rather than going ahead and purchasing boxes in hopes of getting the card you're looking for because realistically, no matter how expensive the card is, you are most likely going to be spending less on the card itself than you would be if you were to hope you could pull it because there's a good chance you are not pulling the card you're hoping for. It's just not happening. But Footy Stars 2023. This uh, has been a really, really fun set so far. Um, obviously with this box, there's only the three box hits uh, being the classified, being the numbers, and then being whatever hit is past that. We learned in the case break that there are, there are dud boxes. There are boxes that will have nothing in them. So. Let's hope that we haven't got one here. 36 packs of good old fun. Let's get straight into this. You'd think that after the amount of packs we've opened up already, I'd be used to opening up these boxes, but nope, it never gets any easier. Let's go though. We're starting this one off. Cogs, CJ, Jared Berry. Started off with a Chad Wingard Silver. Now, I have actually like got my uh, album sorted for this year's Footy Stars, and I can't believe it, even after all these boxes that I bought, I still haven't finished the silver set. I'm close, don't get me wrong, I'm very, very close, but I have yet to pull all the silvers. Somehow, uh, again, it shows you, even after all that money spent, you still will be missing cards, and you still won't have complete collections. It will honestly cost you less if you just look for them like that. As we've got uh, Mitch Lewis, Dana Hooker, Scott Pendlebury, Jack Viney, Dane Rampey, and it's a mascot. Matt Rao, looking very nice right there. I also learnt that I've got to keep, <laughs> I've got to keep the uh, cards in on the screen. I get too used to looking at the cards in my hands that they just start wandering off on the screen. So, got to make sure I keep them here and then look at them from here. So we've got Parrish, we've got Jacob Wiedering, we've got Jordan Degoe, we've got Taylor Harris. Is our insert here? It is. It's a Daniel Rioli essential. Now. That's uh, a good look at all three of the uh, main inserts that are pretty cool. Obviously the common parallels. We had ourselves um, that essential Daniel Rioli there and the mascot. Uh, also, milestone games are uh, one in every nine, so the four per box. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad this year, the regular uh, inserts. I think they're all a bit of an upgrade. Maybe not the, um, the silver common parallels, but nonetheless, a lot of really, really good packs here and there. We got Tom Green though. Dylan Moore, Matthew Kennedy, Dylan Shiel, Maxi Gorn, and we've got ourselves another one. It's Taylor Adams of the Collingwood Magpies. The mascot's looking really nice right there. As we keep moving into these packs, I just have to keep mentioning that. It, it, it honestly is so much more worth it buying the sets you're looking for and even waiting, waiting before you end up purchasing packs or purchasing cards because prices do go down, especially these start of year packs. Uh, they do eventually go down in price. Uh, as we see a Beck Beeson here as well, and we've got ourselves a Nina Morrison silver. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, again, now that I know which silvers I have though, 
Um, I'm not too keen on the silvers as much anymore. They are just double ups now for me. So, eh, nothing too crazy. But I'm really keen to see what this box may have for us. Um, there's a lot on offer. Again, if you haven't watched the case break, I would definitely uh, go check out the highlights and maybe just skip through a bit of that and see the cards that we managed to pull. But it's a lot of really, really exciting stuff as we get ourselves the common parallel of Darcy Fogarty. Um, it's a lot of insight into what the odds can look like, whether um, you would be happy purchasing a case looking at the case that I got. Um, I think I had some really good pulls. Uh, the Iconic pull was guaranteed, but a bit disappointing. You'll get that kind of vibe when you do see me pull the card. I won't tell you who just yet, but if you're looking for who it was, either check out my Instagram at NorthBAFL or watch that case break back. But you'll get to see all of the cards that I managed to pull, and I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the haul, um, especially getting lucky with the case cards. Getting very lucky with the case cards, in a sense, and also not so lucky. I would have loved a signature redemption. Didn't get one, but still got lucky, in a way. Uh, we got Brooke, Brooke Lachlan there, Cozzy Pickett, and an Aaliyah, Aaliyah Milestone. I don't think I've seen this one yet, so that's really cool. The Milestones, though, one in every nine, as per usual. The Bronze for 100 games. So, we keep it moving through this box. Interested to see when our first box hit comes out. And uh, a 001 in a recording would be sick. We got the 001... Uh, Jordan Dawson, and that was a really, really nice pull. Nearly jump a number per tracker from the uh, first and original box break as we get a Darcy Bird Jones silver spot there. But I'm hopeful that we can find some just nice ones in here. The, the, the numbers cards have been kind of nice to me so far. Lots of no, low numbers here and there that I've been really happy with. But we got Luke Parker for this one, Nick Nat, Luke Bruce. Adam Saar, and Harry Perryman, and it's another silver. It's a Jamie Stanton. I do have all the silvers, uh, except for two that are male players, so any female players will be going up for trade. Uh, I am looking to try and get rid of whenever I need to, so it'll be nice to uh, see who else is looking for him, and I will get a trade list of some sort uh, sorted for you guys. We've got Jamie Elliott, Charlie Cameron, Nick Nat, Oliver Florent, and oh, nice, lucky Neil Gold milestone. I love the look of the gold. The platinum's okay. It's got a very slightly lighter tinge to it. I think those um, platinum milestones, but this gold milestone looks great. 200 games, very, very nice. Um, that's it for that pack though. But you will notice very quickly compared to the original box break, I open packs a lot quicker. Unless there is something massive in this box, uh, there's not gonna be much difference. I'm going to, going to be opening them up pretty quickly. Pretty quickly, but we got Jared Lyons here, uh, Toby Green, Daisy Pierce, Lance Franklin, and it's Monique Conti silver foil. Yeah, you can see how repetitive the silvers can get now. Um, I've gotten through like the honeymoon phase of footy stars in a sense. I am now into straight collecting, trying to see which ones we can get. Um, and so silvers are just not exciting for me anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> we got Chad Wingard, George G. Joe Danaher, and a Caleb Daniel Silver Milestone. So, like I was saying before, Silver Milestones, obviously, they're, they, they've got that silver look to them, but Platinums look somewhat similar. Just a little bit lighter tinge, more on the blue side, um, between the 150 and 250 game Milestone cards. But, nonetheless, the design of Milestones this year are supreme, and it seems to be a really um, common opinion throughout the community is that the Milestones look much, much better this year. And, after all the packs I've opened, yeah, I can very much agree with that. I I definitely think they're much better. We've got Darcy Vessio, Jake Lever, Nick Dacos, Caitlin Ashmore, and here we go. We haven't seen one of these in a good while. It's a mascot, Harry Mackay. Nice indeed. A Coleman medalist alongside his teammate, Charlie Kerner. But still waiting on that box here. This is another box where it's just saving it to the end. It's saving it for the end. And you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at that at all. I like having uh, all my big hits towards the end. But we've got Isaac coming. Brittany Benici, Liam Ryan, Sammy Walsh, and there's another silver. It's a Scott Pendlebury, not the one I was looking for. So, the two that I'm looking for still at the moment, uh, in terms of silver specials, are Adam Chera and Josh Kelly. I did not find them through my entire stack of inserts. Not a single one of those two showed up, and it was a little disappointing, but they will come eventually, and at the end of the day, it's just two cards. We will find it at some point. <laughs> we got Dustin Heppel, uh, Tim Kelly, Karen Peterson, and it's Charlie Kuno. Why couldn't you be Adam Chera? You bugger. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I saw Cult and I got excited. I also saw the big C. I'm like, Chera. Chera. Please. No. Of course not. It's going to be another situation. There's always that one card in the collection that you can't seem to pull. And I think in Team Coach last year, or the year before, was Isaac Heaney. Isaac Heaney I just couldn't get. He, for some reason, just evaded me until the very end of the year. We've got Montana Ham, Christian Petrarca, Jake Stringer, Emily Bates, and... Oh, nice! I love a bit of North Melbourne action. We've got Jai Simpkin Essential. Yes, please. Taking that every day of the week. Hopefully new. Fingers crossed new. I honestly don't know. The only, con oh, the only inserts I've been through so far have been those silver specials. Those silver specials are the only ones I've been through. And, again... I've got majority of them, but I'd like to see how many of the other inserts I have because obviously less of them in a box. Um, sets for like a lot of them are actually the same amount. It'll be interesting to see how it looks, but we've got Jared Lyons to start this next pack. Toby Green, Daisy Pierce, Buddy Franklin, and this is looking like a 250 game milestone. Lovely. So this is the Platinum milestone. I think we've got every single milestone type. 100, 150, 200, and 250 in this box. That's kind of convenient, I will take that. But you can see here, if you compare it to the silver, it has that lighter tone to it. I, I describe it as a lighter blue tone. But you can see it just shines that little bit more, has a bit more of a glossy, I think, feel to it, is more what I'm trying to look for. Shiny feel, if that's what you're going for. But um, there's a slight difference. And I, personally, I prefer the gold the most. I like to look at the gold milestones the most. Those 200 game milestone cards are looking really, really nice. But... Overall, agreed by most people, the milestone design, superb. Much better than last year. Um, Andrew McGraw, though, to start this one. Angus Brayshaw, Jack Crisp, and we have a Callum Ward Essential. Wow, these these box hits and big hits are waiting, man. They are hiding. <laughs> they are not coming at all. I'm keen, though. If they're, if they're hiding, it means they're trying to hide the good stuff from us. And hopefully it is a good uh, numbers player, good essentials. I'm oh, not essentials. Ugh, classified player, or just uh, an iconic North Melbourne card, waiting to say hello. But we've got Darcy Moore, Zach Merritt, Lockie Neal, uh, Sam Docky, and another silver special. This is Jeremy McGovern of the West Coast Eagles. Oh, I'm keen. Where is it going to show up? Where is it going to show up? Uh, one crazy thing that I will spoil from the case break that we did, if you haven't seen that yet. Again, I'm just going to keep referring back to it because it is this video on steroids. But yeah, the case break, um, we didn't get an instant win. And I was a little upset. I would have loved to have had myself an instant win chance. But um, I have seen people pulling them. And news on that, the instant win card should be able to be used either on the 15th or just before the 15th of March. So not long away from now. I think maybe two days out from now. As we've got Newcomb, Silvani, Alicia Eva, Bella Lewis, and Jake Lloyd. And it's a human cluggage silver special. Where is the two that I need? I need Josh Kelly to just, just show up. Just arrive on the scene. Come on, man. Next pack, though. Starting this one off with Jess Duffin. Then we go to... Oh, yeah, cool. Lovely. That was really good timing. <laughs> that was amazing timing. Josh Kelly. G'day. How you doing? We got Nick Hind. We got Emma Swanson. And we've got a steel side bottom. And we've got ourselves another essential. It's a Jack Sinclair. One of the most improved players um, in 2022. Let's see how he and the Saints do this year. Um, again, the essential cards. Just really nice. I think I mentioned the first box break, but they have that virtuoso look. And the virtuoso is like... When you open the bottom and saw that last year, oh, the best feeling in the world. But we've got Brianna Davy, Clayton Oliver, Sam Taylor, Aileen Gilroy, and it's an Ellie Blackburn mascot for the Western Bulldogs. Man, these, I haven't got hit a single box hit yet. That's crazy. We haven't got much box left. I think we're definitely halfway through the box. Man, these hits are hiding. These hits are really, really trying to take their sweet time, but... Hopefully, when it rains, it pours. That's all I can hope for, really. <laughs> We've got Zach Bailey to start. Harry Mackay. Mabris Parkus. Shannon Hearn. And another silver foil. We've got a north, at least. It's Ben Mackay. We all take Ben Mackay. But, man, these ones are hiding. Okay, this one's going to be it. I'm calling it this one has a big hit in it. I'm going to say box hit. I'm not going to say our biggest hit yet, but... Classified or numbers, I have a feeling, is going to be in this pack. There's no way they're going to be waiting for this long 
No shot. All three of them. Or all two of them. Hopefully it's not a dud box. Hopefully we do have a big hit hiding in here. But I'm gonna say we've got a we've got a box hit coming. We've got Will Day, Kate Luckins, Tom Papley, Callan Ward. No, it's another silver. <laughs> wow, okay. They're really hiding. Cosy. Nice to see ya. I do have you. I remember seeing you. Oh, a little disappointing, but it's okay. It's okay. We keep moving. We gotta keep going. Josh Kelly will be there somewhere. So, same with Adam Chera. They'll be there soon. We got Chad Wingard, Georgia G, Joe Danaher. Oh my god, and then the silver already. <laughs> Alicia Eva. Uh, AFL Women's Silver Common Parallel. They're everywhere, dude. <laughs> they are everywhere now. Now they're just reminding me as to how many I have. Oh, trades are going to be fun though. Hopefully trades will be good with you guys. After that, hopefully I can complete some people's collections. Uh, I think we have one here now. Finally, it took us some time. We got Tyler Hanks to start, Jamie Lambert, Chad Warner, and here it is. It's numbers. We got numbers showing up. Oh my god, that took forever. <laughs> numbers. Who's it going to be? Let's see whether we can find the team first. Oh, I'm seeing the socks. That's Richmond. Could it be? No, it isn't. It's Liam Baker. If it was Dusty, that'd be very good. But it is Liam Baker. I was very excited. I saw Richmond Tigers socks. I'm like, just maybe there was potential. But Richmond, Liam Baker. What number do we have for Liam? Number 113. Nothing special with the number there, unfortunately. But it's good to see a box hit at least. Um, the Richmond Tigers colours look quite nice with the uh, general design of the box hit there. The numbers box hit. But uh, Liam Baker... I'm going to take you. You have a reputation, it seems, throughout the AFL for being a hard-nosed player, so I will take that every day of the week. we got Sam Durham, though, to start this next pack. Orla O'Dwyer. Oh, James Warpel. Andrew Gaff. And there we go. We're back. <laughs> we're back to silver specials. Uh, yeah, they're just... They're just our thing, apparently. They are just our thing. Man, this box is getting close to being over. Hoping that we find ourselves that big card soon. I'm really hoping. And you get a bit nervous. Like, I like the idea of having my big hit last. But you get nervous if the big hit's even in there. If it's towards the back end and you still haven't pulled it. But we've got Isaac coming. Brittany Benici. Liam Ryan. Sammy Walsh. And it is an essential. Tom Hawkins. I did manage to pull uh, his case card. Which was cool. Nothing too special about the number on his case card. But a case card nonetheless. Got to be happy with those case cards, because, uh, I don't know. They're, they're losing value already, unless they're signatures. Signatures do have that massive value at the moment. I've seen people pulling 01 signatures already. That's kind of crazy. But um, there's that, as well as the um, case cards that are low-numbered, uh, which thankfully I have one of them. But we've got Montana Ham, Christian Petraka, Jake Stringer, uh, Emily Bates, John Newcomb. Five in, which means it's got to be one of these ones. It's Libba. Tom Liberatore Silver Special. Man, I'm getting scared now. There's not much left. I don't know if you guys can see into that. There's not too much left here. Oh, this could be uh, a bit of a close call, it seems. A bit of a close call. Man, if we don't get a big one. If we don't get a big one. Stay positive. Stay confident. We're getting one. We've got to get one. We've got Elise Parker. Mimi Hill. Josh Dacos, so it's Alicia Newman as well, and oh my god, five again, Christian Salem. We got Human Cluggage, essential for Brisbane. Woo! Okay, okay, we got ourselves, how many do we have left? We got, I think this is our sixth last one. Man, there's some big stuff in these last couple packs, it looks like. I hope so, at least. I hope there's some good stuff in here. But let's start it off. We got Jack Silvani, um, Alicia Eva, Bella Lewis. Jake Lloyd, and it's a mascots, Katie Brennan. I do like the Richmond mascots. I like the fact that it's the Tiger. I think it's pretty cool for that Richmond mascots card right there. It is not a big hit. It really isn't, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, it is, uh, it's getting tough. It's getting really tough. I'm getting a bit nervous. Oh, man, if I get another dud box. I remember the first, uh, was it the first box, I think? There's a dud box in the case for you guys that uh, do go back to watch that one. It was a bit heartbreaking, but nonetheless, we've got Dom Sheed, Isaac Heaney, Lockie Whitfield, Hugh McCluggage, and another silver special, Jade Gresham. Ah, I thought I was done with the silver specials. Can we not do that, please? Fourth last pack. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know what I will do if there is nothing in here. Bri Brianna Davey to start this one. Clayton Oliver. 
Sam Taylor. Silver special, Dylan Shield. Okay, now I'm nervous. You're happy? You're happy, Select? You've made me nervous. I really hope you're proud of yourself, because I don't like this at all. We've got three packs left. We know one of them is the box hit. We just need another one to be a good one for us. Please, please don't give me the dud. If you give me the dud, I will never forgive you. We've got James Sicily to start this one. Taylor Adams, Stephen May, Nick Blakey, Cogs, Giants, Mascots. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, not looking good. We either have to hope that this is the... Realistically, if we do have both of these big ones, they're both here going to be um, some big pulls. So let's hope that we've got double big pulls here. We've got Aileen, Aileen Gilroy here, Zach Bailey, Harry Mackay, Matty Press Parkus. And here we go. This is our classified. Okay. So here's the box here. All I hope is in this last pack that we don't get the dud box. Who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? Can we see the team first? Is there any way I can do that? I can't remember the layout. Doesn't look like it. But it's North! Yes! I will take that! North Melbourne! Hey, that's pretty good. AFL classified. Todd Goldstein. Crazy to still see him in the top 150 in the league. That's so good. 141 of 365. You know what? I will take that as a box hit. It's a beautiful looking card. I've gone through it plenty of times before. And just having a North Melbourne player in the top 150 is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> but nonetheless, a really, really good card to have. Happy. I'm happy. I think LDU we've got as well. I've got two North Melbourne classifieds already. That's good. That's really good. But what needs to be better is this pack here. Come on. Don't let me down. You're not about to do this to me, Select. I refuse to believe you're about to do this to me. On video, you're going to give me the dud box. Don't do this to me, please. we got Nick Haynes. Give me anything above a box hit. Dane Zorko. Bonnie Too Good. Charlie Kerno. Wow. Wow, we got a dud box. Alex Pierce Silver. Ouch. Ow, 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 that hurts my soul. How did we get the dud box in the case? That's ugh, disgusting. It hurts you a bit in here when that happens. It hurts you a bit. I will go through the comments to see whether I'm stupid and just missed it. But uh, for the moment, I am pretty certain we didn't get a over-the-box hit. Which really sucks. Really, really sucks. I hate that that keeps happening to me. For some reason, I just have this unique trend of getting absolutely screwed over by my boxes. I don't know how I do it, but I will search this after the video and update if anything does get found in there. But I don't think it will be, unfortunately. Man, I hate the fact that that's happened to me on camera. Come on. <laughs> but nonetheless, that is all for this video. At least we got ourselves the North insert and the Liam Baker numbers. They got your box hits. They do look really good, but man, if it if I I would be lying to say that I wish I had myself a box hit in there. Because the fact that I oh, I'm over the box hit even. Because the fact that I don't is like really really hard to to swallow. But at least I got some hobby boxes. At least hobby boxes will make me happy. But nonetheless, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said towards the start of the video, man. I mean, if this doesn't prove to you that you are better off buying out the cards that you are looking for rather than opening boxes for them, then I don't know what proves it to you. But this goes to show that uh, boxes don't always go your way. So be very, very mindful of that uh, when you do go to purchase packs or boxes. So... Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are always going to be uploading AFL and football card content throughout the entire year. It's always a big, big fun ride for you guys. Um, last year was amazing in terms of it, and this year will be no different. So if you're looking for a reason to subscribe, just know we've got regular content coming out every single week. So thank you all so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.